I think the most rewarding part of being a YouTuber is being able to connect with the community. Having this community of followers that uh, enjoy what you do and follow you and, and you know, just want to be part of what you do. And, um, you know, through the comments, obviously, and uh, I get that sense of, uh, of, of having a family out there. Um, so I wanted to give back and I was thinking about doing raffles and give giveaways and so on and so forth. But I think what most of these folks want is to go fishing, obviously. They see the videos, they see us catching fish, and they want to be part of that. So I've decided to come up with a fishing raffle on my website to uh, give back to this community, um, to my subscribers. Um, so we've selected one subscriber to go out with us uh, on this trip. His name is Damien. And um, we just basically wanted to show him what the EPC fam is all about and what the YouTube channel and how, you know, how everything comes together. And, and obviously catch fish and take some fresh fish home. So... That's what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys want to be part of the fishing raffle, all you have to do is go to upcoutdoors.com and sign up and be part of the EPC family. So um, sit back, guys, and enjoy this video. It's pretty cool. Pretty epic. We caught some real nice fish. So as you guys know, any fishing trip starts real early. Um, from getting all the rods ready to, you know, getting in the truck and going to put gas and everything that has to do with the preparation. A fishing trip for me is it's a two day, three day ordeal sometimes just because of what we're doing, how far offshore we're going and all the preparations that are needed for customers to have a good time. It's not just going fishing like you would on your boat on a recreational trip. There's a lot more involved, a lot more preparation involved. So we pull up to... Uh, Pineland Marina, Safe Harbor Pineland, where I usually put in. I had Chris, who I picked up earlier, um, help me to put in the boat, and um, he was going to go catch bait with me and, and whatnot. He wanted to get the whole experience, so um, I told him, yeah, come along, man, check it out. So that way you know what the whole process is, and, you know, is about, and, and you get the whole experience. Oh, it's going to be a scorcher. I brought a six pack of Gatorade. You have me? Welcome back to another episode of EPC. This morning we're running a charter. We're doing a red snapper charter. Um, right now we're setting up for bait. For you, for you guys that are joining us, just joining us, my name is Captain George with EPC Charters. I'm also the host of this show at Puro Channel. And today we are fishing with my friend Chris. He's joining us on this charter. And you've probably seen him in some other videos that we've uh, filmed out here. So we're basically trying to get some bait going here for this uh, red snapper charter and um, light bait is key. I have plenty of dead bait in this box, but light bait is key. Anytime you head out there, you want to have light bait because there could be tuna, there could be um, kingfish, uh, red snapper responds to light bait really, really good. So it's always key to have some light bait. So anyways, that's what we're doing now. I got Chris chumming them up. Uh, we already see them. So... Um, I'm gonna get ready to toss my first cast here of the day. Get get the net wet. And uh Make it happen. Beautiful conditions today, guys. Beautiful conditions. They're calling for a half a foot out there. It's gonna be a hot one, but beautiful, beautiful conditions nonetheless. So we definitely gotta take advantage of this. salad like nobody's business. Yep, yeah, got some nice liveys in here. A little bit of salad, but that's okay. I actually anchored up a little bit shallower than I would normally do. But I just, it was too dark. I couldn't really see the patch because I have this patch that has no, uh, no grass in it. It's a little deeper, but that's all right.
So last time I was out, the live well wasn't working all that great. So I cut the tube down so I could get a little bit of a spray on the surface for oxygen. And uh, I angled, if you notice, I angled the uh, sprayer to create a little bit of a current in there because she just wasn't working right. It's just some of the things you got to tweak, you know? All right, guys, we got enough bait to feed a small village in Africa. So we're gonna pull up the anchor. We're gonna pick up my customers, remainder of my customers. I got Chris today, he actually wanted to ride when he wanted to get the whole experience. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, you can. Um, when we do a charter, if you wanna get, you know, meet, meet me earlier than usual and experience the whole bait thing and everything, how I do it, you're more than welcome to. There's no extra charge for that. Um, but uh, usually guys will just meet me at the dock and I'll have, you know, a well full of bait, so. We're gonna head to the dock, we're gonna pick up my customers, the rest of my customers, and we're gonna head offshore and have a good time. These guys are ready to go knock it out. Uh, Damien. We got Damien. Damien. Aníbal. Aníbal and Oscar. Oh, yep. And of hey, course, Chris. Cristoba. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian Stalin. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna target Red Snapper today. We're gonna venture offshore and look for Red Snapper. It is Red Snapper season in full effect. However, we do have Red Grouper open as well, so we're gonna also target Red Grouper at the same time and capitalize on this double, the double red that I call it. Bueno, bueno, mi gente, aquí tenemos a Damián, el ganador de la rifa. He's the, he's the one that, that won the raffle and he came out here. That's his first giant red grouper right there. Beautiful fish, good job, man. Thank you, man. Beautiful. We got the rest of the crew here working it. Chris, back there, got Oscar. He's got, that's like his third fish now. And uh, I think he got one too, but we're working it. We're gonna try to get the bigger ones in here. There it is. So we continue to work this area a little bit longer for red snapper and red grouper in hopes of catching some keeper sized fish. Um, we've already secured a couple of keeper sized fish but nothing really really major yet. Um, these guys are doing an incredible job. I've had Chris back here sliming a bunch of fish. Damien also on some fish. Um, but uh, up to now, nothing real, real huge. So we're going to continue to work it and uh, see what happens. Okay, guys, today I am wearing the Bowie 4 EPC shirt. You can go ahead and visit Bowie4.com and click on team stores. There you'll find the EPC apparel. We got hats, we got shirts. Today I'm wearing this shirt. This is the hoodie shirt. Perfect for the summertime. Make sure you cover up and uh, they're nice and light. And I've had this thing commercial fishing and just blood, guts everywhere, man. And it washes right off. Nice shirt. So go get yours and help support the channel. Oh, 
Another red snapper. Wait, is that gay there? What you got there, brother? Small red group. Okay. It's a grupa. Here it is. Oh, it's just a baby. That's it. just a baby. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, yep, 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 yep. All right, guys. Here we got Chris <laughs> mowing the lawn. Look what he found. <laughs> Grouper sandwiches, baby. All right, guys, so we stopped at our first red snapper spot. We think this is a red snapper spot. We've already caught them, but they just weren't large enough. And this was about maybe four or five miles from the other spot we were in. And uh, we're still in search of the red snapper. Right now, we're in about 161 feet of water and still in search of the red snapper. So hopefully, we can get a couple of big boys here. I'm showing some fish, and the show kind of looks like what sna red snapper looks like on the machine. So. Hopefully it's them. Right now we're drifting. And uh, hopefully one of these guys will hook on. If they hook on to a nice red snapper, then we'll set up shop here, chum them up, and get the party started. Yeah, so I'm gonna anchor up on that. Those were all red snappers. <laughs> he threw the squid back in. That's what they want, huh? I got squid in there, man. Put some squid on. I might be on him. Okay, just use up a little bit of line, yeah. He's got a nice fish. Oh, there's something, there's, there's something else. Oh my god, dude, you got a big ass scamp grouper. Holy what the f? I haven't seen a scamp that size in a long time. Dude. What the f? That's a monster. Holy shit. Dude, that's a monster scamp. Oh my god. I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at the size of this scamp. Look at the size of this thing. Look what I got. You. Let me get a connector. Yo, bro, bro, you. I believe it's you and me. Unbelievable. Oh, no, no, I'm free. I'm free. Look at that hook. Oh, yeah. I got something here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I did. It, it, it didn't have much left, yeah. You got luck. Okay, I got, I got somebody, but I got my hook. So hold on, whoever. It might be you. Nice fish, man. My boy Damon I'm here. I'm tired. I'm tired. Got his first red snapper. First red snapper right there, baby. What you say? Well, you use the bait. Squid? Yeah. 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 Oh, All right. Yeah. All right, All right, guys, we're, we are going to get the hell out of here. We got this cooler, the Yeti 250, is just jamming, packed with fish. You guys had a great time. It is super, super hot out here. So we're going to wrap it up. I think this is it. We're going to wrap it up. We still got to get back and fillet a bunch of fish. Everybody's wore out. It's so hot out here. It's incredible. So we're going to get going, get some wind going, spray off the deck a little bit, and... Uh, 
I'll see you guys when we get back on land. Aquí estoy con Damián, el ganador de la rifa de puro chano. Ya tú sabes, mi hermano, el tipo acabó con los pecados. Es un asesino. Aquí estamos con el socio hoy que también vino. Gracias, compadre. Oscar, hermanito. Gracias. Un placer, un placer. Chris, mi hermano. Chris es gringo. Tremendo loco. Este gringo. Uh.